What's up, YouTube? First and foremost, shout out to Alien Army. Stand up, raise up, drop a comment, and definitely hit the like button. Um, if you don't know what Alien Army is, it's a group that rock with me heavy, they rock with me tough, and they always drop a comment and uh, hitting uh, the like button. Um, I'm gonna jump straight into this video. Oh, well, I should uh, say, you know, uh, uh, shout outs to the, uh, got a couple of donations, really appreciate it. Uh, nobody ever has to worry about me saying their name unless you tell me to. So if you send me a cash app and you put in there like, yo, shout me out, I will. If you don't put shout me out, then I'm, I'm not going to because I, I wanna respect people's privacy. So anybody that wants to throw me a donation, uh, you, know, you don't have to worry about me ever saying your name or anything like that or saying your username or whatever, right? Um, if you wanna uh, bless me or show me love, my cash app is the same as my YouTube. It's Alien to Sin. It's always in the description, not begging, but just throwing it out there um so yeah homeless life uh in the rest area with my car broken uh so a bunch of updates i was waiting for um uh, somebody to come through when my friends could come through yesterday uh with a code reader uh that didn't happen so i basically um I'll, I'll do the updates first uh car still messed up still here uh at the rest area um not able to get a code reader uh Monday is when I can get a towed, but uh, I'm having a hard time getting a, uh, an appointment at the dealership on a Monday um, because online it doesn't show that I can uh, set it for Monday and I keep calling and I keep getting their voicemail. Like, you know, so I love the voicemail, I'll get, continue calling. Uh, I think worst case scenario is if I can only get the, the tow on Monday and they can only see my car on Tuesday or something like that, I'll just have it towed over there and then figure it out from there because, um, you know, uh, it is what it is, it's, you know, uh, I guess another update too is that I actually do have food and water. I uh, I was able to uh, acquire that yesterday, so I wasn't able to, you know, when my friends wasn't able to bring their their code reader. And it doesn't look like they're going to. They basically flaked uh, flaked out on me, um, you know, which is totally all right. You know, I can't, you know, people do because they want to do. You know, uh, if somebody doesn't want to, you know, uh, bring a code reader or let me use it or they got a bunch of stuff busy, then it is what it is, you know. Um, but I, I was able to call a different friend and uh, called a different friend and was like, hey, um, Think about taking my car to uh, the, the truck stop on the next exit. I'm gonna wait wait at nighttime and go ahead and do that. Um, but um, what I was worried about is is that they have no over overnight parking for um, cars. So if you guys been following me for a while, um, I used to stay in the hood all the time at truck stops because they don't have that uh, that going on. And then number two, if they do have that going on, they're not gonna tow your car. You know, and if they if were to give me a warning, my car was fine. I could leave. But uh, they they had their hands busy with a bunch of other stuff. They weren't worried about that too much, you know. Staying in the hood, they're not, you know, they, they didn't have that stuff. I'm in a nice area, uh, I'm in a nice rest area, so um, they uh, they stay vigilant on that stuff, um, you know. Uh, so that uh, the truck stop up there couldn't do that, but I, I definitely needed food, man. Uh, you know, I can get cold water in here that tastes like chlorine, but uh, water's water, I, I suppose, right? <clears throat> but um, definitely need food, so I, I did uh, go ahead and get a ride to a grocery store, and I, I, I believe I have enough food to, to last me till Monday, you know. Um, so uh, that takes care of that. I may actually do a short video showing some of the food that I bought. It's nothing, nothing spectacular. It's nothing to, to go crazy over. But if somebody's interested to see, uh, you know, what ravioli and uh, tuna life is all about, I'd be happy to show you. You know what I mean? I got more than that, but uh, you know, those are literally things. You know, you know, the tuna is good for protein. Raviolis is just something you pop open and eat. You know, uh, it's at that at that point, it's uh, fighting uh, your hunger issues. Not about you know, like oh man, this can of raviolis is delicious. It's it's just uh you know barely getting you by basically um other stuff too is, is uh it's been very hard for me to be low key without running you know like i'm not running my car i barely have a sliver of gas anyways um so charging my phone uh having to come in here and stuff like that uh i've been one it's it's so hot not running the air so i'm outside my car a lot and i'm still hot and sweating but it's 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 damn near weight it's it's not even damn near it's way too hot inside my car to sit there without having air on having the windows roll down at nighttime i mean it's that's what i have to do when i go to sleep right and sleep it's been shitty as hell the last three nights um but uh at least i'm alive at least i, I have something to eat uh at least um you know th things could be a lot worse i had wanted to throw that in there i actually saw a, a short video where um somebody uh it was in a third world country i can't even think of the name but for 12 cents they were um uh cleaning some uh, man's toes and hands doing I guess, a manicure pedicure or whatever and uh i was thinking to myself like you know you know at least i'm not working for 12 cents you know and nothing against that person you know people you know i would never touch a man's foot i wouldn't do that wouldn't touch a man's hand to clean their their fingernails or anything like that definitely wouldn't touch a man's foot and stuff like that and if i ever even was to, to fathom it i wouldn't do it for 12 cents not saying anything bad about the people that do that or whatever but when i when i see that i'm like you know things you know things you know everybody 
this what's going on with me right now might be somebody's worst nightmare, right? But the way I look at it is, is um, you know, it, things could always be worse. So I'm always thankful for what I have. And, you know, uh, I try to stay positive that way. Nonetheless, with me saying that, is, is you know, um, uh, and that person was extremely emaciated. Um, they were, you know, I haven't took a shower since Friday. I don't think that, that the video I watched, that person probably hasn't showered all year. And I'm not trying to be funny. Um, you know, so when I go, man, I haven't showered since Friday. And I'm not, when I, when I take my clothes off and stuff like that, I'm not even taking my clothes off, man. I'm peeling them off, bro. It's uh, very humid in the Midwest, very hot as well. Um, at least it's not winter time. Winter time, there was negative 10, negative 7, negative 4, um, you know, single digits. Those circumstances is um, uh, very, like, even when I was uh, staying in my car running the heat and staying in my front seat and I had all these blankets and I had, you know, um, sleeping bags that are uh, 30 degree and then I have a 40 degree one, I believe, and having all that stuff, I was barely getting by, uh, you know, like, you know, my legs got really, really swollen, if you guys have you know, been following me for a while. So, but this is hot ass heat and I'm dealing with it. Um, really, 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 really bored out here, really, really hot, uh, having a hard time sleeping. Um, so like, I'm gonna go over everything. And I'm not trying to sound negative, I'm just stating the facts. Um, the other thing too is, is me trying to be low key around here. Uh, the, I have to keep charging my phone. And when I charge my phone in my car, it's got fast charging. This is the, the only wall socket I got. It's got two USBs right here. Um, when I plug my phone in, it's uh, slow charge. So like basically almost like 12% every hour if that. I turn my phone off um, while it's charging. That seems to make it go a little bit faster, but I'm doing that and um, you know, I, I could do it inside, but if I do it inside, I feel like it, it attracts too much attention. They got wall sockets uh, up front and uh, wall sockets out back. So uh, um, last night it was, uh, I was charging my phone and I was like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop charging it a little bit before 10 o'clock at night, so nobody thinks anything crazy. Like, you know, I'm out here with a, uh, at the time last night with my tank top on, and I'm like pouring water on my face, and I got it char my phone charging, and I'm like sitting on a park bench, and uh, of course my head is always on a swivel, moving around, even though I'm in a nice area. I, it's just uh, something I do, you know, um, maybe a little bit institutionalized from from everything I've had to, to deal with life. Who knows? Um, but uh, I had saw a maintenance person uh, keep looking at me, so I was like, okay, uh, at 4, 10 o'clock, I'm gonna run up, you know, I'm gonna stop everything, and I'm gonna get uh, some cold water in there, and uh, if I have a chance, I, I could tell, like, the person was being suspicious of me. And I understand, you know, like, I'm out there sitting uh, in the back, and it's, it's late at night, and you have, you know, you don't know what my intentions are, you know? So I go in there, and I could tell she wanted to talk, um, and I said, uh, I said, hey, just letting you know, I was just charging my phone out there, I go, I know it looks a little bit, uh, you know, like maybe I'm up to no good. I go, um, but the, the, the truth is, is just charging my phone and then, um, you know, that kind of stuff. And then she was complaining about a couple of the people around here that they should, she, honestly, in my opinion, she shouldn't be complaining about. These people weren't doing anything at all. I think uh, she was being um, uh, oppressive. Uh, it was towards two black people and I think that was the issue. And I'm just being honest. I think that's what she was like. You know, I've been here, I, I'm the one who's, if anybody's been, um, you know, uh, drawing attention to themselves, it's been me. You know, those, nobody's out here smoking weed, nobody's drinking. Uh, it's not like uh, the, a lot of truck stops and rest areas I've been in before where people are shooting up, people are, um, you know, uh, hitting stems, you know, um, doing all sorts of crap. They're not leaving paraphernalia everywhere. This is a very clean uh, clean spot, but yeah, she, uh, she let me know about that. So um, I was thinking in my head that, you know, she was a little bit like a Karen. I, uh, I know one of the greeters, well, I actually know two of the greeters here at the rest area. So my game plan this morning when I got up was go in there and uh, let them know uh, what's going on. And, um, you know, without telling them everything, because it's not everybody's business, uh, you know, let them know, like, you know, hey, I got a check engine light on. I'm waiting for a tow. Um, if worse comes to worse, uh, I get paid on Monday. Um, you know, uh, I'll I have to pay for, uh, pay for the tow. But, uh, you know, that I, I'm not out here causing any trouble. And uh, just letting them know that, you know, I have to charge my phone because I can't turn my car on because of the gas and the check engine light. So I did that this morning and uh, I talked to the, the one of the greeters, uh, he's an older man. I go ahead and talk to him and he's like, yeah, as long as you're not out here, you know, running around naked, he's like, he's like, he's like people have stayed here over two weeks before and as long as they're not causing problems, we're good. And I was like, okay, I was like, I just want to let you know though. And then uh, what was really nice about that was this, he's like, he's like, I hate to be nosy, man, but um, what are you going to do for food and water? Are you okay? And I said, that's not a nosy question. That's actually a question of concern, man. I said, I actually appreciate that question. 
I go, that lets me know that you know you care you know if I have food and water. Um, just let you know, I had a friend come over uh, yesterday and she took me to the store. And when I went to the store, I went ahead and got uh, got got some food to, to last till then. And then he said to me, he said, um, you know, if you need something, ask. You know, like if you need it, ask, and, and I'll see if I can help. Uh, of course, I'm not going to ask for anything because I mean, there's not much. You know, like I have food, I have water. Um, you know, I, if I ask the guy for a million dollars, am I going to get it? No. You know what I'm saying? Am I going to ask anybody for a million dollars? No. <laughs> uh, you know, <laughs> that's just uh, you know. So it's, uh, but it's still really really nice. You know, um, speaking of uh, it's really nice. I, I did shout out you know the, the donations I got. Uh, I want to shout out Kevin who's uh, left a couple comments and uh, you know with his phone number. I did call you, Kevin. I don't know if you watched this far or if you got you know had a chance to watch this. I did call uh, call him. Uh, unfortunately, he didn't answer the phone. Um, but uh, I, I, I wasn't calling to ask it for, for anything. Uh, you know, I was just going to call and say I really appreciated uh, those comments and you dropping your phone number. And, you know, if you rock with me, I rock with you. You know, uh, same thing with anybody who ever throws me a, a donation. If you put your phone number in there, I have no problem calling. Uh, the only thing is, is I am going to call private. I'm going to uh, block my number just to be on the safe side. It, it's nothing against anybody. Um, I just don't, don't want uh, my phone ringing and waking me up at, at night or something like that. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, back to the um, living at uh, the rest area. It's extremely boring. Uh, not using my phone. It's uh, it's very hot. I'm uh, I am healthy. I am alive. So I want to throw negatives and positives in there. Uh, I'm uh, you know. It's not, you know, my phone, my phone takes so long to, 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 uh, to use, I mean, uh, to charge. I'm really not, not watching stuff on there. I do have a second, um, I guess I call it a welfare phone that's free from the government since, uh, you know, I'm poor and I'm homeless. Um, that phone is actually, it charged at 100% and I keep it off and I, uh, I have to use it uh, a few times a month. Otherwise, I'll lose service on there, right? Uh, that's one of the things. So um, that phone, I think, might charge quicker uh, than this phone because this phone does give me notifications from YouTube. It gives me notifications from the editing program I use called CapCut. Uh, you know, it's uh, you know uh, those kind of things. Um, I might use that phone and then, then charge it. But that that, that phone um, only has four gigs of data that I can use. Um, as far as I understand, I don't think there's free Wi-Fi here. Um, if there was free Wi-Fi on here, I probably still wouldn't connect unless I didn't have any services at all because I know that if you connect to a free Wi-Fi, people can go ahead and try to get your passwords and, excuse me, uh, your passwords and all that stuff. I've noticed I got some uh, new subscribers too, so I want to welcome everybody to uh, Alien The Sims uh, YouTube channel. You know, you're more than welcome to be an Alien Army member. That, that's what I said in the beginning of the video. Uh, the people always hit like buttons and drop a comment. If you don't know what to put as a comment, uh, an alien uh, emoji, a thumbs up, a woo woo, checking in, checking in. I should have said that in the beginning. I'm slipping in my old age. Um, I'll talk about uh, some of the game plan stuff. So, uh, Monday, so, uh if the dealership will, will take a look at my car, hopefully it's something small uh, or that recall, something free. Um, if uh, if they say that it, uh, the damage to my car is not because of the recall, and the recall is a fuel pump, <clears throat> um, you know, if let's say for example uh, some of the comments are correct, like hey, wait a minute, it's this instead of that. If if something is damaged in my car because of uh, the recall, I'm uh, I'm under the impression, uh, and what I've been told this is that they will fix the recall and whatever damage that the recall uh, gives, as long as I don't add more damage. And that's one thing I haven't done is I have not added any more damage. I'm not you know, and then starting my car to check the oil, um, you know, uh, let it run, get the temperature, check the oil, check all the wires and stuff like that. I haven't driven it. Um, you know, I wanted to see if it was in limp mode, but I have not. I've not done anything excessive. <clears throat> um, I do wish that uh, you know I could idle my car and charge my devices, you know, my phone, my um, you know, uh, you know, my phone, and I actually do have a little um, not a tablet but like a Kindle that has a bunch of eBooks on there. That thing, that battery will go by real, real quick. Uh, I wish I had that to to read stuff. Wish I uh, could idle my car so I could go ahead and have some cold air, especially like 30 minutes before going to sleep. Cool my car down and then lay down and then actually sleep. Uh, my sleep has been crap for the last three days. I've been, uh, this has happened since um, Friday. Uh, so going into Saturday, Saturday mornings when I woke up and this happened. So uh, we're at, um, we're at Wednesday now, if I remember correctly. Um, so from, uh, from there, from Saturday till now, whatever today is, and I think today's Wednesday. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Nonetheless, um, with, uh, you know, it, if that happens where uh, they'll fix it for free because it's a recall or any damage after that then cool um, I thought about where I would go what I, what I would do um, I might get dropped off where I can, uh, where I camp at 
and I just won't have any electricity. If that's gonna happen, that means I'm not gonna be able to upload on YouTube and stuff like that because I won't have electricity at that camping area. I, I have no electricity whatsoever. So my phones are gonna have to be off and I'm gonna be at, um, I'm gonna have to be uh, at the scrutiny of, uh, of, uh, of a friend that I trust to let me know, like, uh, you know, you know, I'd have some kind of game plan. You know, it's either that or, or uh, find a place uh, behind the store, by a dumpster, or um, you know, in a bush. You know, uh, you know, find a find a lot. You know, um, maybe find a bando. Who knows, right? Uh, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not turning down bandos, especially if it's got electricity in there, so I could charge my phone and not be so damn bored. Uh, I'm dying for a shower as well. Uh, you know, not literally dying, but uh, you know, I would, I would very much like a shower. Um, you know, so sweaty and hot, and you know, like I said, you don't take clothes off of here, you peel them off. You don't take your socks off, you peel them off. And I bet if you, even though I have clean socks and underwear and uh, a shirt and clothes that I put on today, I bet even just right now, even though it's been a couple hours, if I took it off, I threw it against the wall, it'd, it'd stick there. You know what I mean? That's what it feels like. Um, if they're unable to um, fix my car, uh, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, like let's say they're like, hey, it's, uh, you know, it's your Cadillac converter. You know, uh, your cat's backed up. It's two thousand dollars, right? Of course, I don't have two thousand uh, dollars. If they told me it was two hundred bucks, I don't have that either. I'm just gonna be honest. If it's something that I have to pay out of pocket, um, I'm probably gonna be screwed on it. And what I'll probably uh, end up doing is, if they're like, hey, it's uh, three hundred dollars to just to replace your, uh, you know, your uh, your spark plugs. I'll try to do my best with uh, with what resources I have, but um, if if it has to, if it costs uh, any money, I'm probably I'm I'm damn I'm screwed. You know what I mean? So if that happens, uh, the only thing I can do is, especially if it's something really expensive, like 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 a thousand, two thousand dollars, something that's, you know, it's not it's not like a twenty dollar fix or something like that. It's like that. All I can really do is ask them to make me an offer on my vehicle, um, and if they do that, then uh, you know, I don't know what I'll do after that. I know that uh, if I'm going to be uh, homeless, living on the street without a vehicle. This, the state that I'm in, uh, probably not the best for me. Uh, everything is really, really far away. Um, people are not um, very charitable or generous. Um, you know, I, it's not like I, you know, that's one thing that sucks at being out here is I'm, I don't even have the, the, the ability to make money or do something productive. Like if I went ahead and started grabbing, grabbing soda cans and water bottles and stuff like that, there's no recycling, they, they'll give you money back for that out here. At least I don't know about it and I've asked the people, you know, I'm not originally not from here, I'm from the West Coast. Um, the West Coast and, uh, you know, in Arizona, you can do that. In California, you can do that. In Washington, and, uh, I don't think you do it in Nevada. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think Nevada uh, recycles, but I could be wrong. <clears throat> but definitely Arizona and California and those kind of states, you know, uh, that's one of the number one home, uh, homeless hustles is going into dumpsters and going to trash and uh, getting recycled cans, taking them in and, you know, making 15, 20 bucks a day. And, you know, if, you, uh, if you're on uh, food stamps or whatever, you use the food stamps to eat, out of the $20 that you make that day, maybe you spend, um, you know, a couple dollars on personal hygiene and stuff like that, and you put the, the rest away. If you're able to save 20 bucks in 30 days, that's $600. You know, it's a slow progress, you know what I mean? But if you do that, then suddenly I, maybe I can get back, you know, I'm not saying that's what I'm going to do, but I'm saying that's, you know, if all else fails, I can, I can, I can do recyclables. I can go in dumpsters. I can go and do that stuff. I get something I can't do out here. Um, I'll have to figure out a way to, to make money and stuff like that. Uh, YouTube, I, I am partnered on YouTube. I think I've made $62. I have to make at least $100 to um, cash out. My YouTube uh, looks like it might be starting to get back in the algorithm with your guys' help with your comments and your likes and if you guys share it. Um, you know, uh, I'm not going to stop YouTube. You know, in fact, this, if, if this, this makes me double down on it. You know, uh, I do want to share my story. I want to be honest. Um, well, not even, I want to be honest. I am honest. The, the, the way that I am, and like, I have never seen anybody else's YouTube channel like this. That's why, you know, like the YouTube channels I see with homeless is it's sensationalized. It's people that are, uh, you know, on, uh, on, on substances or uh, they drink too much. They're the ones who've got scabs all over their face. And it's very, in my opinion, very sens uh, you know, sens sensationalized. And, you know, do they follow those people when they go boost? No, you know, uh, more than 50% of the people are just like me where they don't have um, substance abuse issues. They don't do it. They don't drink. They don't do the stuff like that. Like that. They, they're just regular people, you know, living paycheck to paycheck at one paycheck, you know, or one little crisis, you can end up in the same spot that I'm in, you know, and uh, that's what this channel is about. This is my journey showing all that stuff. Then also, you know, like it's, it's going to be a rags to riches story. Like, 
I'm gonna, I want to end homelessness, and the best way to end homelessness is by making sure it doesn't happen to begin with. It, why, are your, why is your house so much? Why is your car so much? Why is car insurance so much? Why is everything so much, you know, why is it that all your money gets trickled down, and when it gets trickled down, this is for America, uh, trickled down that like only around like five or six people uh, in the world end up getting all your money, you know? Uh, and I wish I had the, I could do the research right now, and I could be like, hey, this person gets it, this person gets it, but, um, you know, I guess I'm uh, doing broad strokes if that information is correct. And it sounds like it is. I mean, you know, it, it does to me. But at the very least, it's, you know, who says that your house, you know, a, a house is two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000? Who's, you know, who says it? You know, what, what, why is uh, car insurance $150? Why are you paying for, for medical insurance at $300? You know, what, what, why are you doing that? It, because they want to keep you, uh, you know, like, you know, programmed. You know, they want you to barely make it. You know, uh, there's two types of bars, man. The ones that you can see in front of you, and then there's ones that you can't, and that's what it is. And uh, I want to break that. Uh, I want to. I want to break that system. The most powerful thing in, in America and in the world is the regular people, us. If all of us said that we're not going to take it anymore, then it, it would just end. If we all decided not to go to the, uh, you know, go go to work, and me being a failed failed truck driver, you know, that's how some people label me because I'm not truck driving anymore. Uh, you know, yeah, I, I I've expressed. You know, how I grew up, a lot of uh, horrible things that have happened to me. I know that I come off, uh, you know, I, I imagine I come off where, like, you know, I don't have any problems uh, mentally, but the truth is, is I can't have people around me 99% of the time. I have anxiety all the time. I'm uh, uh, moving around a lot. Uh, I, you know, uh, you know, uh, social anxiety, uh, you know, separation anxiety, very anxious, very traumatic. One of the therapists that's not diagnosed believes that I have uh, PTSD. I matched everything except for two things, and the two things was is that I would not harm myself, and I would I, I, I do not uh, have feelings of hurting myself or hurting anybody else. You know what I mean? Uh, I think those are the two things he said that I, that I didn't make make it on uh, on his test. And he was asking me questions and asking me to give me examples, and you know it wasn't like you know a multiple choice thing. We're just conversating in this uh, I guess session, and this is you know probably about a month ago, yeah, you know maybe a month month and a half ago if I had to imagine. And it was a free little thing, and I did, went ahead and did it. Um, you know, I was trying to trying to figure some stuff out. If they would have took me, if they would have said, and if I would have had stage three, and they said I was stage two, if I would have had stage three, um, they would have took me in. And uh, from that point, maybe uh, help uh, help me. But uh, the truth is, is I don't want to be helped with medication. No, this video is getting long, but I don't want to be helping medication. I don't like how medication feels. I take blood pressure pills. If I have a headache, maybe I'll take an extra strength Tylenol. And I do take antacids, uh, stomach pills, um, because, you know, certain, you know, especially the food that I've been eating, it, it hurts my stomach. Um, you know, it's, it's salty. It's processed crap. You know what I mean? It's uh, keeping me alive. But, I, I, you know, the other day, I, I was trying to count how, much, uh, how many grams of protein I, had. I ate that day. It was 12. You know, the other day, uh, before I went and got these groceries, I literally had some burrito chips and two Top Ramens. I think the Top Ramen said it had four grams of pro protein per serving. You know, that's eight eight grams of protein. It's nothing but carbs. You know, no wonder no wonder I hold on to water. No no wonder my stomach is fat. You know, the calories on the the two um, Top Ramens I think were like 420, uh, 400, 450 calories each. So that's 900 calories and then a handful of chips. I barely ate oh, a little bit over a thousand calories, and uh, yet I'm not dropping weight. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's all the salt, maybe it's all the sodium, but I don't want to get sidetracked with that stuff. Uh, I want to thank everybody so much. Uh, you know, well, messing up on my my my, my not my intro, but my exit or whatever. But I uh, just want to thank everybody so much. Please uh, give me your prayers. When somebody says good luck to me, or you got this, or you know I'm rooting for you, or you know hey um you know uh, you know positive messages, those all mean something to me. You know. They, they mean a whole lot. In fact, this is really my therapy and my support group is you guys, you know, rocking with me. I think that without this, I think that uh, I might, I might be very, very tempted and I might, uh, I might, I might lose control or I might lose sight on things, not lose control, but like I would lose sight on things. Um, you know, there's temptations out here, you know, I'm not going to lie. And it's not what you guys think. The temptations are like, you know, you know uh, why should I be always be the law-abiding citizen? Why should I always take the high road? Some of these people probably need to get smacked in their mouth, you know. But it, you know, and and when I've had arguments and I've had confrontations with, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, alcoholics and uh, and straight up drug abusers and users and stuff like that, they're the ones who threaten to call the cops on me. They're the ones afraid, you know, like 
all the, you know, like, what kind of rule are we living in? You're the ones out there doing, uh, breaking rules. And when you stand too close to me and I tell you to move away, and then I, uh, you know, I, I tell them that, you know, I, I've done it before, where I told somebody, hey, you know, you need to move your car or I'll grab you and drag you out of it, you know? And this is, this is at the, uh, the hood spot. And they're like, we'll call the cops if you do that. <laughs> You're gonna call them when you have, uh, uh, you know, needles on you. You're gonna call them when you've got uh, those little papers full of stuff on you. On you. You're worried, you know. You're worried about a, uh, you know, basically an upstanding citizen who just had enough of your shit, you know. Uh, and I know that it's immature. I should be, uh, you know, I don't know if it's immature or not. I know that it's in my best interest to not put my hands on uh, on, on stupid idiots like that. And uh, that's why I, you know, I did the right thing by start staying at a nice, nice rest area. Uh, the biggest thing with staying at the nice rest areas is, um, you know, they're. Uh, they're, they're upper class, basically. They, you know, they want to know why you're here, and they want to make sure that you're not up to no good. In hood places, they're more like scared if you're uh, up to bad stuff, and if you're not up to bad stuff, they, uh, you know, still keep an eye on you. But as long as you're not doing something too obvious, they leave you alone. You know, at least calling the cops or asking you to leave for the most part. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, I want to thank everybody so much.